Babies come into the world extraordinarily curious, eager to learn, extraordinarily resourceful and competent at learning, that they are, in the most literal sense of the word, scientists. They do exactly what scientists do. They, they use the scientific method in making sense of the world around them. And then they get to a certain age, which may be as young as three, but in any case, the age of school. And this process is turned off by adults who think they are now going to direct and control the learning of these children. Who They treat them like an empty receptacles into which they are going to pour whatever learning they think they ought to have. In 1964, John Holt, an Ivy League graduate and a teacher in alternative schools, published his first book, How Children Fail, in which he lays the blame for the failure of school children squarely on the compulsory school system. Not surprisingly, How Children Fail was extremely controversial, and John Holt was soon famous for rattling the American national consciousness. Perhaps no one knows more about John Holt and his work than Pat Ferenga. Here at his office in Boston, Massachusetts, Pat keeps John Holt's legacy alive. I got involved with John Holt in 1981. We were talking and then, you know, so he asked me, so what do you want to do with your life? And so I told him, you know, the honest truth, which was this thing of being a teacher. And he said, why? I said, because I like working with children. And he took his glasses off and looked at me and said, well, Pat, if you become a teacher, you're not going to work with children, you're going to work on children. And I couldn't believe it. Uh, what are you saying? <laughs> and before I could start my argument, just, <laughs> have you read any of my books? I said, no. <laughs> he said, well, start. So at that time, the, his book, Teach Your Own, had just come out. So I figured, let me start with that one. I couldn't get into it. The, by the second chapter, I was pulling my hair out, thinking, this guy's crazy. Who's going to teach her? This is nuts. And so I remember talking to Peggy, uh, Peg Durkee, his business manager at the time, and she said, well, why don't you start with his first book, How Children Fail? So I read How Children Fail, and it made sense to me. I got it. And then I, I, I was able to engage John in, in all these conversations. By the mid-70s, Holt had officially given up on reforming schools and instead turned his attention to a movement he had been previously unaware of, homeschooling. John hit a nerve. No one knew that all these people were out there. And once you realize that these parents from all around the country were doing it but not in touch with one another, you started Growing Without Schooling magazine. First issue was August 1977. Growing Without Schooling magazine helped bring together homeschoolers from all over the country and was the only resource at the time that dealt with the needs of secular homeschoolers. 